Hey, what's up, YouTube fans? Another V6, and welcome. Uh, today, I'm gonna be doing like an update for the uh, how to have animated textures in Mr. Crayfish's model creator, and this is actually I think way easier than the other one. Uh, so the problem is that I want to change the texture for this uh, this uh, model for, from last time, um, and last time I used a bedrock texture for this, and the problem is we have a lot of bedrock in our command block area. So, I want to change the texture to something else, and I could just replace another block, but then I totally realized, why didn't I just use custom textures? And you're like, what? Crazy, you can't import custom textures into Mr. Crayfish's small creator. I'm like, that's right. But I totally forgot that you can change the texture afterwards by editing the JSON. So, here's what we're gonna do. Um, over here, I have the image that I made a GIF out of. GIF or GIF, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and so, I exported using Premiere every single frame. You don't want animated GIF because then you'll have to unanimate it later. Um, you want regular GIF so that it has every single frame. Name a frame so you have 0, 0, 0, 001, blah, 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 blah. And you're going to want to download this program called Earthfriend View. And what this can do and is uh, it can create a panoramic image. So you click Create Panoramic Image. Be sure to select vertical, that will create like a vertical image, and images. And you're just going to select everything uh, besides this right here. And then um, you'll click uh, create image. You'll see it's exporting all the frames right here. So just give it a minute. And there you have it. This is very, very large. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, as you can see. So it has every single frame in here. You're going to click file. Uh, save as, and you're gonna save it as something. Um, I'm gonna name it computer. Okay, so just wait for this to create the image. Come on there. Okay. So right here we have our image. Um, it's very very long. Uh, so now we have computer.png. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to your blocks, and if you don't have this already. Then just copy it from the lava texture. Uh, lava. You'll see this um, dot mc meta file. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, oh, whoops. Okay. Um, and you're gonna see this. You're gonna copy this, or just copy this, and you're gonna put computer dot png dot mc meta, uh, whatever you name your your frame as your uh, long list. All right. So, um, I have one for a computer already. So let me uh, find it. Computer, where are you? Here you go. Uh, Computer.png.mcmeta. And you're going to pull it up right here. And you see this right here. Everything's good. Uh, you're going to go back to here. Assets. Minecraft. And you go to go to your models. Um, actually, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, go back to your textures or whatever. Uh, where is it? Computer.png.mcmeta. And you're going to copy this in uh, computer.png. Copy this in. Now we have this and this. We're good. You're gonna go back to assets, Minecraft models. You're gonna go to your block, and I have mine's purple steer, so we can use whatever. Created Mr. Crayfish small creator, and I use bedrock, so now I can replay it with block slash computer, and it will draw from the computer texture. So let me just run through it again. Uh, you're gonna create your thing in uh, infrared view or earthrend view, and. It, it's going to create this large panorama image, you name it whatever you want, copy in your texture folder, and have a .mc meta file as the same name, uh, computer.png.mc meta. So right here, uh, it's drawing from computer, and if all goes well, it should work. So let me go F3 and T. Uh, that is not what I meant. I click F2 and T. F3 and T will reload your texture pack. Give it a sec, and there you go. And it goes up and down and everything, and it's all good. It looks great. <laughs> um, and then we have our regular bedrock texture, and it doesn't use any of the blocks, besides the purple stairs, of course. But right here you have police department of Cloudville, and everything looks nice. Yeah. All right, well, um. That's that for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, be sure to post it down below. Um, 
so yeah, uh, be sure to check the the other tutorial if you want uh, some more in depth stuff. Um, and yeah, I uh, announce maybe real quick. I will be switching to Cubic uh, as I've already bought the program because it's just so much more flexible and has so much more. Like you can actually look at the the GUI and the first person perspective inside the program itself. You don't have to go into Minecraft and then do it. And you can just upload custom textures that are huge in there. You only need 16 by 16 um, limitations and then like change the UV all wacky and stuff. And then you can have more than just one 3D view. And it, it's, mm, mm, it's so good. <laughs> uh, that's that. And uh, thank you guys for, uh, for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me what you guys want to see. Peace.